Like you, you think about game-winning shots and or game-winning free throws, and people go to the free throw line and they're nervous about it. Well, what are you really nervous about? If you unpack that, okay, you, you're nervous that you're going to miss the shot. All right, so you miss the shot, then what happens? People are going to be embarrassed. You're going to be embarrassed because thousands of people, millions of people, see you miss the shot. All right, and then what? People are going to talk bad about you. Okay, right. And so you're looking at it, you go, are those things even important? <laughs> you know what I mean? If that if that is my fear, like what what is you worried about letting your teammates down? Okay, have you let them down before? Well, I'm sure in practice and things of that nature, right? They're still there. Yeah. You know. And so when you're able to unpack, hide from it. You know, you got to be able to look at it and you know and, and and deal with it head on. Yeah, I love that, man. And and you talk about that because you talk about you know when you talk about missing uh, five throws, you talk about uh, getting over yourself. Yeah. Right, like yeah. getting over yourself. How did you get that mentality of just being like, I need to get over this. Like, I need to get over myself. You know, trial and error. Mm. You, know, you grow up and you make game-winning shots, and it's awesome. You come back the next day and miss a game-winning shot, and it's misery. And then the next day comes, and you're back playing again, and you understand that life has this cyclical nature where it's, you know, what you do on Monday, it's fantastic, but then Tuesday is a bad day. But guess what? There's Wednesday. So are we just supposed to live our lives like this the whole time? <laughs> you know, versus just staying like this and understanding that it's really just a journey of evolution every day. It's just constant improvement, constant curiosity, constantly getting better. The results don't really matter. Uh, it's the figuring out that matters. Now, like I've seen a lot of players, uh, especially now you know, in youth basketball and with that, um, you have players that are like bigger, faster, and stronger, and you know their coaches are just coaching them for results. You know, we're just going to use your size that because you're bigger than every other 12 year old out there to dominate today. But they're not growing, right? So they're just based on that result, but they're not focused on growing this young child yeah. into becoming a better athlete. And through that, teaching them how to become a more well-rounded person. And we're missing that. Well, I had to do that because you know, I grew up, growing up in Italy, uh, when I first moved over there, it was, you know, I didn't speak Italian, I didn't have any friends. You know, I had the game of basketball and through sport and playing soccer, I was able to make friends and build connections. But it was a lot of time spent alone. And, and when I came back to the States, I wasn't the most athletic kid. You know, I was really scrawny, like really, really skinny and had like major knee issues because I was growing. So I was the <laughs> dorky kid with high socks and big old knee pads. It's fashionable now. It's fashionable now. <laughs> what then? It wasn't then. And, and so um, I had to look long term. Because in the here and now, I couldn't compete with these kids. I mean, there was kids that were like 12 years old with beards. Like, mm. I, can't, <laughs> I can't. What am I supposed to do with that? Like, they're, they're doing windmills and dunking backwards. And I'm happy to, like, tap the backboard, you know. So I had to look at it from a long term because I wasn't going to give up on the game. Right. So I had to say, okay, this year, I'm going to get better at that. Mm. Next year, this. And then so forth and so on. And then patiently, I was able to catch them. Man, it's, it's just piece by piece and it's the consistency of the work which mm. I feel like a lot of parents uh, are missing today because we're not teaching that to our kids we tend to say like kids don't want to do the work but in reality it's uh, when we're failing them because we're not leading them the right way and teaching them yeah. you know how to fish you know what I mean and so like the consistency of work Monday get better Tuesday get better Wednesday get better right and you do that over a period of time you know, not like one month or two months. I mean, it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years. And then, you, you know, you can get to where you want to go.